What's up guys, Kaiju here again with another video and this has been my long awaited video that I promised months ago. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> so this is my mouse feet lineup. I bought a bunch of mouse feet, tested them and wait. Yeah. So yeah, let's get right through it. So first we have the Hasaku mouse feet. So these are aren't really known. I think these are like from the very limited uh, information that I got, these are kind of like Japanese OEMs or Japanese alternatives or Japanese versions of the hyperglides. So I've never tested hyperglides. They're not easy to come by here where I'm from. They're like around $20 uh, if I'm going to buy them online. So I don't think it's worth it. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just taking, you know, the limited information uh, for it. So yeah, these are technical, I think, anyways, Japanese hyperglides. I don't know. So uh, I really like them even as a, uh, these are fast mouse feet. These are, yeah. So even as a uh, control guy, I really like how they feel. They're very smooth. They're pretty solid. Uh, they're consistent. And for me there are they are the fastest um yeah fastest among the list even faster than the tiger eyes so i think these are a bit thicker than they feel a bit thicker they feel more solid and more firm and harder than the tiger eyes i'll, I'll make a comparison of later anyways yeah these are pretty solid. Like it doesn't feel mushy on certain pads. It doesn't feel very uh, like it maintains what it is. Like they're fast, um, and yeah, they're fast. They're solid. They're kind of firm, so they're pretty good. I they're my favorite fast ones. I prefer them over the Tiger Ice. But yeah, anyways. Next, we're gonna go for the Hotline Games competition. So, Hotline Games competition, the black ones. Ah, uh, well, you know, these are kind of weird. Um. Uh, they are what do you call this? Um, uh, a bit fast-ish, but it can have some control on soft, squishy pads. They're definitely better than than stocks and OEM, but and they're not as bad as what what most people say. So, uh, especially for the price but these aren't i don't think these are rounded or i don't think they're rounded well so they can get scratchy um when it comes to like softer squishy pads and yeah so it might ruin your pad they're a bit slower than the hasaku and they feel faster than broke in, broken in tiger eyes it's kind of dependent on the mouse fad so it doesn't feel com uh consistent i really can't i don't think i can recommend these you know j just don't buy them they're not horrible they're okay they're better than stocks i guess but yeah just you know just don't buy these i i can't recommend these what i can recommend are these um hotline games 3.0 plus it has to have a three plus on them it's the solid white ones so these mouse feet um they feel really nice solid and consistent uh they're fast out of the box uh but after breaking them in they feel they start to feel a bit more controlled uh because of how because of how hard and firm they are they feel very consistent like it's kind of they don't end up feeling mushy on certain pads so yeah the consistency is there uh they are more controlled than the compet. They are slower and more controlled than the competition. They feel a bit more rounded, so there's less scratch. They feel really smooth. Um, in terms of speed and control, after breaking them in, it they feel kind of in between Tiger Arc ones and Core pads. Uh, it's hard to differentiate, but since you know they're a bit more solid, uh, yeah, I mean. Because they are they're solid and less squishy, they do end up feeling faster than core pads. Um, and since they're hard, it becomes a bit kind of mouse pad dependent. Like on soft squishy pads like the Artisan Zero, um, the soft and the X soft, they do feel a lot more controlled as compared to when you use them on firmer pads. 
on firmer pads they do end up being feeling pretty fast so yeah there's that and then the 4.0 oh where is that huh hold on here the hotline games 4.0 oh ones these aren't made out of ptfe if i'm not mistaken these are the brown ones hold on i can't get them out of the box it's these ones you know the brown ones the beige ones uh, these I, I i just can't recommend them like they're a big hit or miss heck i don't think uh according to the seller that uh that i asked they're not even producing these anymore they're just selling whatever stock they have left <laughs> so yeah uh they're not bad they're okay like but they're not safe to buy like i enjoyed them on my artisan zero but they end up becoming scratchy and it's always in your mind hey it's scratchy so it might ruin the pad faster so especially the diy ones the diy ones are really scratchy and uh, even if you try to cut them as best as you can they're gonna be really scratchy so um yeah maybe just don't next would be the I don't even know why I included these, like some green OEM pad, like these are some OEM skates. I mean, yeah, I don't get why you're gonna spend money on these, just don't. I mean, they're not bad, you know, they're a bit kind of faster, not much stopping power, and they're kind of good for tracking, and they, they do feel smoother than the competition ones, than these ones, but yeah, still, uh, don't. Okay, next would be the king. The king of pads. Hold on. Okay, next we have the four pad, the king of control. So these are control skates. They're slower than the Tiger Arc one, and they feel kind of mushier and softer. So that kind of makes it more, um, you call this? More. I'm losing my mind. Oh, my words. They feel more mouse pad dependent because of they feel mushier. They do feel thicker and fuller, but yeah, they're kind of softer and mushier. So on some pads, I really hated how they felt. Like uh, the Tiger Abba, um, the Aqua Control Plus, I kind of didn't like how it feels with that one and with the Hayate Otsu. But with the with other pads like the Odin Infinity and the Gigantic Vito, I really liked how they felt. In terms of quality, they're also a lot better than the Tiger Arc ones. Like, the adhesives on these things are just so good. Like, well, you know, they're kind of hard to clean and get rid of when you're removing the skates. But they stick pretty damn well. Like, the Tiger Arc ones may be cheaper by a bit. But, uh, what do you call this? The adhesive isn't that good. And I found that with four pads... If, if you remove them properly, you can put them back and they're still pretty good. Compared to other mouse skates, if you remove them even carefully and properly, they really feel like crap. With four pads, you can put them back uh, and they still feel good. So, um, yeah. Uh, they're a bit more controlled compared to the these ones, the, what's this, the, the plus, 3.0 plus of the hotline games and again they're squishier they're mushier so you feel the feedback of the mouse pad more with the four pads compared to these ones these uh, 3.0 plus it's hard to differentiate the speed in softer pads but in harder pads them since these are harder they definitely would feel a lot faster and less friction so yeah overall I, these are my favorite pads if you want control go for these pads they are the slowest eh, on the list i'll you know i'll just recap everything later but yeah i think these are like pretty much the gold standard of ptfe now states um good quality they're pretty thick they feel full and the adhesives are really good and yeah if you want control you go for core pads really good quality um so next would be the tiger arc ones so the Tiger Arc ones, uh, they're pretty good. I mean, in certain areas or like here in the Philippines or in Asia in general, it's hard to get four pads. So these are kind of like my go-to. 
they feel a lot. They there's still control. Why am I going pads? Okay. Yeah. In here in Asia, it's hard to get uh skates, uh four pad skates. So these are usually my go to. Uh, and here they're a lot cheaper. They cost like five dollars here, and that's with pretty much free shipping already. Um. So yeah, but the thing is, in terms of quality, they really feel less premium compared to four pads. They still feel nice, but they're adhesive, especially for the bigger, bigger skates like DPX skate or Vaxi skate. Uh, after a while, like I feel they look like they're bubbling up. Like I have to press them down again. Like uh, these aren't you know that these aren't the skates, but yeah, I feel it feels like they're bubbling up and not all the way flat. So uh, I have to like press them down here and there. Uh, so yeah, in quality, this is still better. And yeah, in, in terms of function, these are still control mouse gates, but they're not, uh, they're still a bit faster than the core pads. They're noticeably faster than the core pads, even, the, even after breaking them in. Um, I think these are, I would even say like mid skate. They're not fast, fast, but they're not super controlled. So these are, you know, if you want an all around skate, I guess you can go for these. Uh, but yeah, like you can get either. I prefer these, but I'm happy with these. Too, right? um, the static friction, uh, it's easier to micro adjust with these, but uh, the core pads feel a lot more stable. Next. Um, uh so yeah basically with the controls i i feel like these tiger arc ones are the fastest among the three of the control skates next would be this one but again, these kind of depend on the mouse pad if you're using like firm pads they may be faster but on soft squishy pads they are slower control among all of them Tiger Ice. So Tiger Ice is a thing. They only come in like one. It's only like one piece per pack, and they cost like around ten dollars, I think, SRP. Uh, again, here we can get this piece. But yeah, I, I don't. I I still think you can pick the Tiger Arc ones over these, just because there's like. Uh, just because there are like two of them per pack, and the difference isn't. But hey, if you you know, if you don't mind spending a little bit more money and you really want speed, then yeah, you can go for these. Uh, the adhesives on this one are better than this, but but one of the problems that I hear other people say is they feel a bit thin. These tiger eyes. I don't know the specific ones. They don't feel thin for me, but for other people, they say for some reason like I don't know if it's like placebo or what. But they just feel thin. Uh, in terms of like, so comparing Tiger Ice and Tiger Arc One, uh, there's not much of a difference. Like, in, if you're like moving your mouse around like this, the difference mainly for me is those small micro adjustments and micro corrections. Like, there's really less, noticeably less, uh, static friction on the Tiger Ice. So that really makes the really mic it's very smooth and very little control uh, micro corrections. So if you have shaky aim, I would say just go for this over this. But if you really want really low static friction overall, uh, yeah, you can go for the Tiger Eyes. And yeah, there's, again, it's not that big of a difference in my opinion. These do slow down more compared to this, so maybe you can consider that. So yeah, if you really want a fast, you know what you want, you go for the Tiger Eyes. If you don't know what you want, just go go for the Tiger Art. Okay, next. Oh yeah, the Tiger Eyes versus the Pack 2 one. So if, if they really feel the same, to be honest, uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, the difference, but personally, the Hasaku feel a bit nicer because you know they feel thicker. I'm not saying they are; they just feel thicker and they just feel more consistent and kind of more 
same speed throughout different pads. Uh, but yeah, in, ter- in terms of difference, it's really hard to tell. But it's kind of like uh, the Hasaku feel like they have more stopping power and more static friction compared to the Tiger Ice. Tiger Ice really have very little static friction. So if you have shaky aim, I, I wouldn't suggest this. Okay, next we have the DIY Tiger, the black ones. So these are... Hmm, okay, hold on. Let me get my notes. Hey, finally made notes, yeah. So the Tiger DIYs are the black ones, and they feel smoother and harder than the Arc ones. Uh, they perform pretty similar. They're just a bit faster and smoother, like what I said. Uh, so you don't feel the feedback that much on the pad surface. So... I really don't see why you're gonna get these over Tiger uh, Arc One, other than you you want DIY sticks, like you want to cut your own stick. Other than that, you know, just go for the Tiger Arc Ones. So I also tested the I, I don't have the box or the packaging, uh, but yeah, I also managed to test the Tiger Arc Twos, and for the Tiger Arc Twos, like I kind of really just don't like them. Uh, what do you call this? They feel they feel like stock skates. Tiger Arc 2s feel like good and decent stock skates. They're pretty thick. Uh, they're not scratchy like what most people say. I don't think they're scratchy. But again, they just feel like stock skates that are pretty good, pretty decent. They're firm, they're hard, so you don't feel the surface of the pad, the feedback of the surface of the pad that much. So I, I really just don't suggest getting Tiger Arc 2s uh, unless you really want to try them out, like you're just curious, or you really like them for some particular reason. But if you don't know, again, what to get, just get the Tiger Arc 1s. Okay, next, I think th- this is the last, would be the BTL skates, or but I want to premise this but with, I got the Dots version, so I, I haven't tested the the big versions so take it with a grain of salt so the btl dots they're kind of weird so uh again they're dots so they have obviously have less contact with the pad so it might make them feel faster um and since they're dots they also feel scratchier uh yeah they are you know they feel they don't feel mushy they're actually pretty hard uh so it do- doesn't give that much feedback on the surface of the pad they're like tight in my op- in my experience and my friend's experience. They're like tiger eyes that are thick, um, and it's weird because like out of the box they're pretty fast, but they, they take a while longer than other skates to to break in. Like it's gonna um, when they break in though they're a bit they're pretty they get slow, uh, so it's hard. I I don't know where to put them. Like other reviewers say, well, when they mentioned that they felt like Tiger Eyes, other people said they, they actually felt like core pads. But yeah, I think after I broke them down even more and used proper pads so it would break down faster, um, or break in, sorry, it would break in faster, they did kind of end up being pretty slow. Um, so yeah, it, I guess the BTL skates are a bit inconsistent. So if you want fast, just go for the Tiger Ice, I guess. Or if you want control, again, go for the core pads. Or, you know, you, you don't know where to go. Just be, you, you can get Tiger Art. So, but yeah, BTL dots, if you like thick and hard, uh, kind of fast skates. Or the dots, I guess. I mean, dots, if you, have, you know, just have them as backup because... You know, let's say you don't have any other skates for like a mouse. Like I use them for my Fantech one because you know, and other mouse skates that uh, other mice that I don't have the skates for. Um, so yeah, the bigger versions of these apparently feel slow, like core pants. So again, they're they're in a weird position. Okay, so overall, uh, so the fastest. I'm gonna tell them the fastest to slowest. So the fastest would be the Hasaku ones, but and on par or followed by uh, the Tiger Ice. So um, again, like I mentioned, these have a bit more stopping power and stability. Like they have a bit have they have a bit more static friction, 
Yep. This Tiger Ice really have very minimal static friction, so it gets kind of shaky. Um, so yeah, if you want speed, you can g get either of these. Uh, like, I don't think you should go out of your way or trouble yourself to get these if you can't. Like, you, you can get either of these. And then, so after these, like, it's technically the green OEMs, but yeah, just don't get OEM. Yeah, don't. And then we have the Hotline Games competition pa uh, skates. Again, uh, they're pretty mediocre. Uh, just kind of don't get them. Uh, they feel scratchy on like uh, certain pads, so I can't suggest them. After these, heck, I actually prefer. Uh, I actually prefer these Tiger uh, DIYs over these, because they 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 can feel smoother. Like if you if you cut them, then you press down on the edges. They do feel they actually feel smoother than the Hotline Games competition ones. And then these are just slightly faster than the um, than the Tiger Arc ones. So these Tiger Arc ones um, are fat. It's like for me the middle of the bunch. Uh, but when you break them in, after a while, they end up slowing down and. Um, one of my main complaints would be the adhesive. So, uh, this is kind of on par. I, I just don't know where to put the BTL ones, honestly. Like, I just put them in the middle because they're weird. Like, they can be as fast as Tiger Eyes, but as slow as Core Pads. It's just weird. So, yeah, I don't know where to put the BTL ones. Um, uh, next would be the, uh, the Hotline Games Plus. These are actually the only good skates of of hotline games um they are controlled uh, in general but on firmer pads especially pads like condora pads they become really fast just because of how of uh, their solid feeling but on squishy soft pads they're pretty controlled for me the quality is really good so if you if you're hell bent on getting like a hotline games skates uh, get these but again uh, eh, I still prefer the Tiger Arc ones over these and the core pad. Uh, oh, yeah, Tiger Arc ones over these. And, you know, just if you want control, really just go for the king if you can. You know, go for the core pads. Core pads for me, uh, the core pads are the slowest in the, bu eh, in the list. But for me, they have the best quality and I, I they're my favorite. So, yeah, for the... Tiger Arc 2s and 4.0s, I don't know where to place them. So, I just don't buy them, you know. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below. Uh, I hope you understand them, what I was trying to say. And again, don't overthink mouse feet. Yeah, like some mouse feet really... I really prefer and perform in other mouse feet compared to others. But at the end of the day, don't overthink it. You know, focus on your skill. Like, if you don't know what to buy, buy Tiger Arc once or Core Pads, and that's it, you know. Anyways, like, comment, sub. Peace.